Look at how just like putridly red this is. It's so pink. It's incredible. It's just strawberries. I swear I didn't put any dye in it. it reminds me of Sonic back in Texas. So hello, welcome to my room bed. Today is my very first day of the week that I haven't had any classes. I don't have anything due till later in the week. The past week was crazy. I did so much studying and so much working, so much everything because I have midterms coming up next week. The spookiest thing about my Halloween is going to be the fact that I have a midterm during it. Spooky. Honestly, the spookiest thing possible for Halloween. So get on my level maybe. I have to save this for the whole video, Cody. You can't just drink it all right now. I thought that I would just do a chill, chatty, drink a strawberry lemonade Q&A video for y'all this weekend or weekday. It's a Wednesday. It's been a long week. Every single night this week, I've been up till like 1 or 2 a.m. just studying for my midterms. Plus on top of that, I have videos to edit, I have meetings to go to. So it's basically been an impossible week, but today is the beautiful day that I get to just sit in pajamas all day and I'm so happy. Today is a glorious day. I asked you you guys ask me questions for me to answer. Let's just get into it. What's the scariest part of making music? Let me tell y'all, making music that is going to be consumed by others later is one of the scariest things I've ever done in my whole life. It's so scary because music is objective, you know? You don't really know if it's good. There's no true definition for something being good. It's not like math where you can just have an answer and like, that's an answer. And like, since it's right, it's a good answer. Music is just this big, giant ball of ideas. And you just never know what the world is gonna think about it until it's out there and it's done. And if you're anything like me, you write like a billion songs all the time. I write like three or four songs a week and three or four songs a week for like, you know, an entire year means that you have a ridiculous amount of songs to choose from. What if one song is really good and you just can't tell? What if this song's super terrible and you just have no idea? Obviously, if I like a song, then like, it's good. But just because I like a song and I think it's good doesn't mean that it's good for the whole world to consume, doesn't mean it's marketable. So it's very hard and I'm very scared because I've never done it before. With that being said, I really love the music that I'm making. I'm just so excited to get to work and to start doing it and to just have an EP out. Not coming for a long while, I'm so sorry, but it's just me and my producer and my manager is doing it. I'm funding all of it by myself, um, I'm not signing to a label, so it's hard and it takes a while and it's a big endeavor. Anything creatively, it's really hard. And when you put so much of yourself into something, if people don't like it, it really feels like, oh, they don't like me. Like, why don't they like me? <laughs> Being an artist is a scary thing. It's very scary. So props to every musical artist or any artist ever, because it's like the scariest thing in the world. <laughs> Are you planning to do any covers on your channel soon? I do really want to do covers again. I haven't done one in a while because I've been in classes and I've been moving. But if y'all have any songs that you think you'd want me to sing, put them in the comments below. And maybe I'll just find some new songs that I like from that also. <laughs> but I really do want to do another cover because it's been so long and the terrible thing about college is I haven't really had much time to play music. I haven't had much time to write music. I haven't had much time to draw or to do anything creative. It's just essays and essays and homework and studying and blah. It's really making me feel quite sad. I don't like that. It makes me sad. Please, songs I should sing. Put them. A lot of these are about music. I don't know. I guess I'm just really wanted to answer questions about music. How often do you randomly get lyric ideas for songs? My brain is constantly processing everything I do into a song. So I have thousands, this is an exaggeration, I have thousands of just song ideas listed in my audio files of my phone. It's, that's just how my brain works. Don't know what that came from, but drank it. I think any songwriter can relate. It's just like, Ugh. Any advice for beginner artists who can't draw proportions? Y'all, proportions are super hard to get right. Such a hard thing to do. Especially if you're drawing like a person specifically. It's so hard to make a drawing look like a person. It took me forever to actually understand what a face looks like, that noses are usually this long and like eyes are usually this far apart. And the things that make people look like people are like the super tiny minute differences. It really just 
requires a lot of practice and a lot of studying. Which brings me to today's sponsor. <laughs> ah, a segue. Today's video is sponsored by Skillshare. Hey. Skillshare is an online learning community with over 17,000 classes on photo, design, painting, drawing, everything you could think of creatively and technically as well. Premium membership gives you unlimited access to classes from actual experts in their field. So you can learn from people who've actually done what they do for a long time. I'm currently designing t-shirts and for it, I'm like inking stuff. And so I've been watching Ink Drawing Techniques, Brush Nib and Pen Style by Yuko Shimizu. If you love anything in the artistic field, there are so many incredible artists you can learn from on Skillshare. Annual membership is about $10 a month, but since Skillshare is sponsored this video. The first 500 people who click on the link in the description below get two months free. Yay! Test it out for two months and see if you like it. Thank you for sponsoring this channel, Skillshare. You're cool. Next question. Your thoughts on gender roles. Gender roles? Don't know her. Never met her. Actually, I think I recall meeting her once and it was a very unpleasant experience. That's all I have to say. Ugh. Gender roles are a construct by society. If you like something, like something. And although people will try to reinforce the fact that that's not a this gender thing, don't listen to them because they're ignorant. Please talk about your secret crush that you've been talking about on Twitter. We all want to know more. I would, but I wouldn't, so. Yeah. The most I'll ever tell you guys is all gonna be on the EP, so. You just have to wait. Bye. How do I get past being afraid to follow my artistic dreams with the fear of knowing others are endlessly better than me? I used to struggle with this a lot when I first started making artwork that, you know, was judged on competitions or that people would see online. It often felt like I could never be better than some of these other people. So like, what was the point of making anything? But eventually I learned that the value of artwork is so far away from what people think about it. And this doesn't even apply to art. This applies to everything in life in your own self value as well. You shouldn't rely on what people think about your art to judge its value. So by saying that you think others are endlessly better than you is a lie because the artwork that you're making is absolutely individual but you do kind of have to learn to make your artwork individual when I was a, a little kid I remember I used to like trace Pokemon I used to like trace them out of my book and I'd always be like that looks real bad but it was because I was trying to be something that already existed that didn't really necessarily need replication because there are people who already do it and are great at it <laughs> that's a kind of weird example I don't know why I use that example basically if you are doing you there is no one on earth that is gonna be better than you. Follow those artistic dreams, follow those inclinations because there is no way that anybody could do it better than you. The only person you could possibly outdo is yourself. Don't think about it too much, just make stuff. What parts of college do you actually like? By the way, a lot of you guys always point out that I always use plastic straws and that's bad for the environment. And you're right, I never even thought about it until you guys pointed it out. So I'm gonna switch to paper straws because they're recyclable, but I have all these plastic straws and I literally love using straws so much. It's like my favorite way to drink anything. I would use a straw for soup if I could. <laughs> I already bought paper straws. They're sitting, they're waiting there for me. Anyways, college. The parts of college that I really like was moving out. I love being independent. I love knowing that my existence isn't reliant on anybody else other than myself. You know, I pay my own bills, I pay my own tuition, I pay for textbooks. It's really nice feeling independent. And also just the environment of being in college is probably my favorite part. I don't like classes. I've never liked classes. I hate being told what to do and that's what classes are. That's just how they work. So the only classes that I liked in high school was my art class that I was allowed to just go free range because my teacher trusted me enough to just make whatever I wanted. I don't like studying. I don't like writing essays, but I really love the environment. I love the campus. I love going to the coffee shops and seeing everyone just bustling everywhere. I love studying with my friends, which I did a ton this week and it was just so much fun collectively being exhausted and delirious and laughing at everything because we're so like caffeinated and sleep deprived. It's terrible, like I'm killing my body, but it's also just 
fun for some reason. I think that's kind of what everyone likes about college though, you know? No one really loves going to classes, but it's more just like the stuff that happens outside of classes. It's the studying, it's the going to the clubs, and going to games, and going to parties, and all those kinds of things. I only do one of all those listed activities, which is studying with my friends. <laughs> I don't party, I don't go to games, I don't have time, I don't go to clubs, I don't have time. But I think studying with my friends and working with my friends is just a major component of what college has been like for me so far. So that is all the questions that I'm going to take today. I hope that you enjoyed. In the comments below, ask any questions that you want me to answer in the next Ask Cone. And if you see any questions in the comments that you particularly really want me to answer, that way it'll be like the first ones up there for me to go back to. And I'm gonna go ahead and go. Thank you so much for watching this video. It means the whole entire world to me. I'll see you guys in a few days with a brand new one. God bless and goodbye. Eee.